new 2023 e20 compatible domino 400 and we'll speak about one of the biggest change in the motorcycle the spark plug that is missing now before i get into the specifications and all i first want to ride the motorcycle and see how does it perform does it have a power drop or does it perform a little differently or what so let's pick up the bike and take it outside i won't go outside the showroom because i know overall it's the same dominar uh, there are no major feature changes you get the steel you know the same 2022 accessories on it you got your sari guard you got your top rack you got your backrest you got your hand guards you got the nice mirrors you got the visor number plate comes in here and you got your crash guards over here and the underbelly this all remains like the 2022 accessories dominar uh, i forgot whether it was called 2022 or whether it was called 2023 but that is overall the latest dominar and you got your e20 sticker here even the gear display and everything is same here also the main display is same you got your mobile holder over here you got your charger over here all these things remain the same even the exhaust let me start it it's in gear yeah it's in gear that's neutral even the exhaust sounds the same there's no change of course you'll get a suppressed sound right now because i'm recording from your from my dji with the mic and the mic is inside my helmet so we'll take it upstairs in broad daylight and there i'll take the exhaust sound again in in person lot of versions of dominar lot of sense in the sense bs2 uh, bs4 bs6 400 250 with accessories without accessories and i still love this bike i still love this bike whenever i give a starter to the dominars i love this bike look at the headlight where it is going this is low beam and this is high beam all these plus points you know you still love the bike uh, i've started the bike and i don't don't feel any kind of uh, power drop i don't feel any kind of power drop at least in lower rpm as of now but let's still ride it till the top beauty same suspension setup yo it runs in the same manner absolutely same manner same power on the bike same power i don't feel any drop i was worried with the two plugs removed bike is now going to have less power but nothing as such it's got the same same absolutely same power again this engine also was an upgrade after the ug there's much less vibrations in this one i had ridden this uh, one of the friend bought it and i had ridden it that time so this had absolutely no vibes compared to i mean the previous gen of course uh, single cylinders do have some sort of uh, vibrations it is not that uh, super smooth like a uh, you know a twin or a triple or a inline four engine but comparatively you got a much 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 smoother overall engine uh, compared to the previous gen dominas now let me quickly take a close up of the exhaust and all and uh, let's check out the specifications too at the lower rpm to understand the feel to understand the power you know uh, while we are in traffic and all does it give the same feel as my bike or the previous uh, the pre e20 power figures 
of course i don't have the power figures in my mind or i'm not that technical that i understand that it is exact same bhp and all but you get a general feel of the bike you know how it performs whether you feel the power lag whether you feel less torquey engine or something but nothing as such it was cruising around in the first gear like i usually do on any of my dominar or any of the previous gen dominars that i have ridden absolutely same i don't feel any change in the bike in terms of power delivery of course i have taken a very short ride over here it is inside the sai service wakadevadi premises uh, but you know uh, being a dominar rider since 2017 you can easily get a feeling of even if you ride a second dominar uh, after riding yours you get a very good feeling immediately uh, letting you know what is the difference in the bike like you know suspension is low bar tire pressure is less or the handle is tight you get such feelings very easily and trust me uh, with respect to power and low and torque and all the stuff i didn't feel any change in the bike the engine is still 378 cc 373 cc you can see it on this one single uh, cylinder liquid cooled dohc engine and uh, it now based on the website uh, information of bajaj auto it now boasts triple spark so i guess bajaj is managing that without three plugs they are doing it just with a single plug now what does this mean Uh, from my assumption it means that before the stroke completes the uh, you know plug is being ignited thrice once two and three which will help uh, combusting the com- you know which will help a good combustion which will burn all the fuel and thus uh, whatever work the other two plugs were doing is being done by the same plug and thus you will get the same performance out of the bike power wise it's the same uh, 40 ps power and it's still got the slipper clutch and it is the same 6 speed gearbox so no difference there too part 2 is the same 43 not 43 i guess it is 35 nm of torque and suspension is same 43 mm yes this suspension is 43 thickness and i think it is same 130 mm travel tires are the same up front and back mrf okay revs this is c1 and the size is let me come back to the front size later on i'll move the bike around and at the rear it is rev c1 again mrf again the tire size is not visible here it's here 150 section let me take the vehicle behind it's the same 150 section r17 17 inch wheel again uh 320 mm disc ahead and where's the size tire size here it is 11070 r17 so all the other specifications have been as i've been saying in the vlog are the same the front suspension is not adjustable in any way okay it's still the same the rear is nitrox charged and is adjustable five step adjustable and it is get it gets the double spring treatment same as the previous gen the headlight and all is also the same the indicators are also the same all led you don't get any hazard function tail lamp is the same all led treatment and here's the headlight throw it's still the same how the high and low beam works i know i showed it in the beginning of the video with the dji camera but i wanted to show it via the one plus two and here's the exhaust note same 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 exhaust note that we all love absolutely no change in it all the uh, buttons you know everywhere it's the same there the same pass light same indicator same horn same upper dipper same engine kill switch same headlight on off uh, your engine starter is here and you get the usb charger here you get the same display everything is the same your rpm is here speedo fuel gauge your telltale lights are over here your secondary display is here which is your gear indicator uh, your gear indicator can be shifted up here uh, by some clicks over here uh, i forgotten what are the steps now 
टाइम इज योर इन अदर इन्फो इज योर इट इज नाउ ई ट्वेंटी कम्पेटेबल विच मीन्स दैट यू कैन यूज पेट्रोल विथ ट्वेंटी परसेंट इथ एनॉल इन इट डोट रिमेंबर दी स्पेसिफिकेशन बाय हार्ट दिस इज वॉट यू नो वॉट ऑल आई रिमेंबर्ड आई स्पोकन आउट वॉट आई डू इज अगेन आई लीव दी वेबसाइट लिंक द बजाज ऑटो पोर्टल लिंक ऑन दी इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड यू कैन चेक आउट दी स्पेसिफिकेशन वॉन्स मोर एंड इफ आर इंटरेस्टेड इन परचेसिंग दी बाइक यू कैन कम डाउन टू साइस सर्विस पुणे एंड टॉक टू दी सेल्स टीम आई लीव द सेल्स टीम नंबर्स इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड आई ऑल्सो ट्राई टू लीव दी लोकेशन इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन विद दैट सेट आई एंड दी ब्लॉग हियर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू न्यू न्यू वीडियो वेरी सो